share tips on how I do the pirate chest event. Maybe a lot of people don't know. At the same time answer this question. So I'm going to show the process of getting the keys and other. And what you need to prepare is stamina and teleport. Random teleport is okay and if you want to use advanced teleport it will be better. I prefer to use random teleport because the price is 4 times cheaper than advanced teleport, and you can buy it at the alliance store using alliance honor. Then use teleport to find a location where the vampire messenger is quite close to your castle. The maximum distance is about 30 kilometers or a travel time of about 30 seconds. And if it is closer it will be better because it will be faster. And it's better if there are lots or at least two messenger vampires around. The reason is, because we only have 10 minutes to visit the vampire messenger, after activating the talent. So for 10 minutes we will save 20% of the stamina that will be used. And completed 40 visits. One vampire messenger can only be visited 10 times before disappearing. So if no one has visited we can do 10 times in 2 trips. So that means we need to visit at least 4 vampire messengers in 10 minutes. Each visit will give 4 keys, so in 40 visits we can get 160 keys every day, and the event time is 5 days so in total we can get 800 keys from vampire messenger. If nothing else is close to range, then teleport again to search. After completing all visits and if time of talent is still there then it's best to use it to hunt threats. Next we will also get key from resource gathering in tiles. 3 keys from level 6 tiles and 4 keys from level 7. Next we will also get the key from gathering resources in the castle. And lastly, to get additional keys we can do some upgrades. I've provided all the information about tips and tricks on how to upgrade in several videos, including how to calculate points, so that you can save the upgrade if it's not possible to reach the reward target. As you can see I did one upgrade. Actually I could do one more upgrade and get more rewards, but I'll save it for another event. Maybe the next 50% event. I also did the same thing on the farm account, as before I said this account only spent $1, and didn't spend a penny again until now. So this has nothing to do with the material I got from the honor challenge on the main account. So everyone can do it without spending money, the important thing is to know how to calculate and save points. Next for guard recruitment. I've done 5 times. And I'm thinking of doing it 5 more times. As you can see I keep a lot of recruitment banners. And waiting for the right time to use it, so just have to be patient. Because there will always be the same event with different prizes and maybe much better than before. Maybe the newest guard. This is enough, I'll save the rest. I'd rather use more recruitment banners to get guard pieces reward. And for equipment this account can still get more points. I can still add stars. And after doing the calculations, enough to get the next reward. So I do it now. After all, the pirate chest event rewards silver dragon elixir. So I'll be able to get more materials from this event for equipment. So the next 50% event I can still do some upgrades and get rewards. So this is how I get more keys. By doing some upgrades to get rewards. And I always get upgrade rewards during this event even if it's a little, 
not as much as during the 50% event. And by mastering the technique of counting points, we can see if we can reach the next reward target, and if it is not possible then save the material for other events. And currently for upgrading gemstones, I can get more points with the same amount of material, because I only need a few more points for the next reward. I will not explain the technique again. Because it's troublesome. And I explained it in a previous video last month, but few are interested. I understand it's dizzying, because I'm also dizzy collecting data and making videos. LMAO. And as for the upgrade of airship elements, as you can see I can do a lot of upgrades. Maybe I can get maximum points. But I think it will only make one upgrade. And save the rest for another event. So that's how I do this event, without spending money it takes patience and the right time to upgrade, as well as calculations so as not to waste points that can be used to get more rewards. And the next month's reward will always be better. Because the number of rewards always changes and increases every month after the update. And this is the total key I got. For this key I got from reward. I always buy this key to open challenge chests. And do it when there is an event like this. And I always save it, and use it when really necessary, sometimes I don't have time to log in for 24 hours. So can't visit Vampire Messenger and upgrade, so it's going to be short of points of course, that's when I used it. To do spin I don't have any technique because we know the system is random. We don't know when the points will be multiplied by 2 or multiplied by 5. But what is clear is that if we spin 10 times we only use 90 keys, so we save 10 keys. If you know the best spin technique, please write it in the comments column. Maybe there is a trick you know. Because I've always tried and noticed maybe there's a technique to always get points 5 times. But so far I've noticed it's totally random. And as I said, what is certain is that I always reach 2300 points. And without spending money to buy the pirate key that is the target that I can work on and for sure. For the rest of this key, I'll save it when it's really necessary to hit the target points. And definitely not now because I've reached my target. Now doing a spin on my farm account. Somehow this account seems to be luckier than my main account. This account once reached 3500 points. And it's not that I'm happy but I'm a little annoyed. Why doesn't it happen to my main account? Because I spent money on the main account. But why even this account that gets more points and better rewards? Just an explanation for this key I got for free. As you know when an alliance member buys a $50 and $100 key bundle then all alliance members will get 5 and 10 keys. So don't be surprised if this account has the key, even though it's not spending any money. You see this account got 2900 points, far more than my main account, which only got 2,400 points, even though the keys used were slightly more. Only 600 more points for the next reward. So that's how I do it. Hope it is useful. Thank you for watching. See you.